Hi, I'm Sabrina Bennett. I'm a fourth and fifth grade science and social studies teacher here at Jenkins uh, Elementary in Jenkins, Kentucky. This is my third year teaching, all of which have been in the same position here at Jenkins Elementary. Uh, this is actually my second year getting to work with KVIC for a learning innovation grant. Um, this year's project is entitled Cavalier Greens. The Cavalier is our school mascot and our school colors are actually white and green. And this project focuses on uh, the skill of growing things, of gardening. So I figured what better title than to use our mascot and our school colors, which also tie in to the focus of our project, which is growing things. This is a quote by Gertrude Jekyll. She's a British horticulturist. She's an expert gardener. And I really thought that this uh, quote really spoke to uh, our project and the nature of which this project is gonna focus on and how gardening is so much better or so much more than just simply plants in dirt. A garden is a grand teacher. It teaches patience and careful watchfulness. It teaches industry and thrift. And above all, it teaches entire trust. So like I said before, this is my second year receiving a learning innovation grant. Uh, this year's project piggybacks on the projects from last year. Last year, I had fifth grade students and we took a deep dive into our local history. I hoped to increase interest in history by making it personal to them and also increase their sense of pride of community, which uh, was a problem I saw here in just my few short years here. People weren't, they weren't prideful of their hometown. Uh, the project achieved both of those goals. And even though it was cut short due to COVID, uh, but it also provided the opportunity to learn about our Appalachian heritage, which I feel is something that's very important to learn. Um, a lot of the aspects of our heritage are kind of being lost uh, with the passing of our older generation. <clears throat> One thing that was a reoccurring uh, symbol in all of our research on heritage was uh, how people would work hard and be able to provide for themselves and provide for others. And oftentimes that meant raising a garden uh, to put food on the table. Gardening and farming is of course nothing new, especially to our area, but it is a skill that is being lost uh, with our older generation. Younger people are not looking at this tradition as a beneficial skill anymore. Uh, why put in all the work when you can just go to the store to buy tomatoes? But th this point of view is just one way our Appalachian heritage is slipping away from us. And I really want uh, to take some time to dedicate to the resourcefulness and the resiliency of Appalachian people and um, be able to start learning those aspects at a young age to promote them as they go through uh, as they go through school and the rest of their life. Our problem of practice for this project during the current era of COVID-19 is how do we provide a hands-on experience for our children during these scary and crazy times where we really don't know uh, what's going to happen from one day to the next. Hands-on experiences are vital in the world of education, especially when you teach science. Uh, reading and watching videos can get the point across, uh, but to be able to actually perform the task and see science in action makes uh, everything they learn from our lessons more concrete. Our school, uh, Jenkins, is still currently all virtual, but we do look to come back in a hybrid format um, whenever our numbers decrease. We are currently still in a red zone on our COVID map uh, for Kentucky. But once those numbers start to decrease and show a, a steady decline, we do hope to bring our kids back into the school in a hybrid format. That hybrid format will still allow some uh, students to stay virtual. It'll allow parents to make that decision based on if they were fearful for their students to return. <clears throat> so our project really needed to have a way to connect um, our learning with hands-on experiences for both in-person and virtual learning students. Uh, to do this, we are going to have a school-based greenhouse for growing and learning for the hands-on experience here at school uh, for our in-person students. And we're also gonna have take-home mini kits for those students who choose to remain virtual. Uh, students in both the traditional and the virtual uh, aspects will have the same experiences in planting and harvesting and uh, recording data 
and all that data will be shared amongst us, um, either virtual in some kind of virtual format, so we can see what each other is doing. Um, we can uh, we can see what each other is doing. We can see how the experiences differ from being at home and being in a greenhouse, and we can take advice. And uh, we're going to do this by recording data, measurements, and uh, even taking photographs. Um, our learning strategies are just exactly what I just uh, was speaking about, having both the in-person greenhouse here at school and the take-home greenhouse kits for those children that remain virtual. Some of the resources we need, um, which have, some of which have already been ordered, include a six by eight greenhouse that's gonna be school-based. It's going to be located uh, near our playground. Um, this greenhouse will have will allow students to grow their own individual plants and it also has room for we uh, can take turns and provide safely uh, a safe hands on learning environment. Um, the children at home will have these take home mini kits we ordered enough uh, to cover our virtual learning students who will remain virtual. Uh, these will be sent home to our students, uh, they will have the option. Uh, this having this option allows them to have the same experience as the students at school are going to have. Uh, they're going to be able to choose what they are planting. Uh, they're going to be able to do the digging to planting the seeds and they're going to be responsible for watering and caring for the plant. Um, while they are doing this at home, they're going to relay their experiences back to us here at school so we can compare and contrast what's going on, uh, what plants are growing better, what do we maybe need to change about our routines um, to help our plants grow. And of course, uh, all the planting supplies, which include things like soil, uh, pots, and other things needed to ensure all of our uh, plants, all of our seeds thrive and become plants. Our projected outcomes for this project are for both traditional and virtual students to have the same hands-on experiences throughout the growing season. And we will document this by recording data and even taking photographs of our plants uh, through the process to share and compare with each other. I also hope uh, that this project increases pride in themselves and their heritage by taking something important from our past and working hard to plant and provide for uh, ourselves and others and to see how these age old traditions from our past are still uh, vital and still important and can still make a difference here uh, today and even going further into the future. In the long term, uh, when looking toward uh, the future, I see this project having a life far beyond the life of this grant. Uh, I hope to use the starter resources that we have gained from uh, being a part of the KVEC Learning Innovation Grant to fully implement a program in which we can provide hands-on experiences from an early age. That means getting our younger students involved at an early age. Um, we can do this uh, to provide the hands-on experiences, to get them out and get them learning and actually see science in action. And we can also help promote leadership skills among our older students by letting them take the lead and teaching these younger children um, the necessary uh, process of planting and watering and growing and documenting uh, throughout the growing season. It also has endless possibilities of learning uh, across all content areas in terms of reading, they're reading and following directions and grow charts, science, they're learning life cycles and needs for plant growth uh, in math. They're tracking and evaluating data, social studies. Um, there's endless economic value as uh, supply and demand and production. We hope um, to get to the point in this program and this project to actually have something to show for it, to show some vegetables or some starter plants at least that maybe we can take to our local farmer's market. Um, considering COVID regulations this year, that may not be, it may be a future uh, goal for us in this long-term program, but we'll see. Hopefully we can get something started along those lines this year. Uh, overall, I hope to take this project and grow, pun very intended, uh, into a program that takes part of our takes a part of our cultural past and pushes it into the future uh, with our children at the lead.